This A New Hope lightsaber comes with everything you see here. The A New Hope Graflex 2.0 lightsaber with Nano Biscotti version 4 and the Goth 3D Knight chassis with the crystal chamber. Your TCSS Graflex blade plug and charger. I can sell you a lightsaber blade for this saber at an additional cost. Uh, but it does come with this lightsaber stand and plaque by plaques for props. Plaques for props did these plaques. And this shows that this is a New Hope Luke Skywalker lightsaber as you can see. It's a good looking plaque and it is a decent stand, 3D printed. But the New Hope lightsaber comes with all of these items at the price point I have listed. This is in a New Hope configuration and it's got a lot of stuff going on on it so there she blows in a new hope configuration you can see the d-ring on the pommel see the graflex pins with the tabs the glass eye which is not shine through this is just a normal glass eye and then the uh, custom saber shop blade plug so this is an, a New Hope configuration. This is based on a Graflex 2.0 by Corbant. It's powered by Nano Biscotti 4 by Plector Labs. There's three fonts on board. It has a 3D night chassis with a crystal chamber reveal. <clears throat> the chamber actually matches the, the saber blade. There are two accent LEDs and underneath the board they're blue. Uh, and they are on the deep sleep pad, so when the saber goes into deep sleep, those accents go off to save energy. It's got an upgraded red button. Uh, it's been refinished to, to more match the, the Graflex, the actual Graflex camera flash handles that were used to make these lightsabers in the 1970s when Star Wars first came out. It's got upgraded screws. It's got slotted screws here on the clamp and also here just forward of the glass eye. It's got a milled glass eye. This glass eye is milled down so that even when it's used for blade retention it sits all the way in the saber like it's supposed to so you had to cut that down and these screws had to be cut down as well. Um, and I already showed you the Graflex blade plug and the saber comes with a charger and you can purchase the blade separately which you know you and I'll have to talk on email about that it makes shipping more difficult but I can make a blade for you if you need one. The Sabre has a, a 2 watt high bass speaker uh, Panasonic 18650 from the custom Sabre shop and there it is a New Hope Graflex. She's a beautiful beautiful lightsaber. In the, um, in the New Hope Sabre here and in all my Sabres I use PTFE stranded wire, both 30 and 28 gauge. This wire is military spec. It stands up better to heat. It's more abrasion resistant. And it's very difficult to strip. It's less prone to shorts and to soldering issues. A lot of times on normal wire, when you're soldering on the little small end of a wire where you've stripped, a lot of times that insulation will melt back. Well, on PTFE stranded wire, that doesn't happen. So whatever you strip, stays stripped. Um, you can hold it up to a soldering iron and nothing will happen to it. A soldering iron won't melt this. So it's just really heavy duty wiring and I use this wire in my sabers. It's uh, the type of wire that was suggested and is still suggested by Darth Alice. And um, I, I buy into that. It, it just holds up better. So I hope that helps you feel more comfortable with the fact that my sabers are wired for longevity. This is the actual wiring of the Nano Biscotti present in this A New Hope saber. You can see my solders there on your board. This is the board in this saber that you're purchasing. There's the board coming together and the chassis finally slid into the final product that you'll be receiving. This video is going to serve as a demonstration and instruction manual for you on how to operate the saber. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to remove the lower portion of the hilt, which will give you access to the recharge port and also to the micro SD card. You can also access those by unscrewing the, the pommel end cap and taking it off. But for the purpose of this demonstration, 
I'm going to show you. You have to flip up that clamp lever like this, and then you screw off the lower hilt, lefty loosey. The threads are smooth. If the threads don't feel smooth, there's a problem. Um, I've taken great work in cleaning these threads and lubricating them so they are smooth. You can hear you don't even hear it. So when the rear hilt comes off, this is the Goth uh, Knight chassis, the Goth 3D Designs Knight chassis. And you can see the kill key here in the end and also access to your SD card which is right above the kill key. Now for charging the Sabre, what you want to do is to remove the kill key by pulling it out. And then you plug in the charger like this. Then, after that's done, then you plug the charger into the wall. If you don't do that, you could cause an arc inside the recharge port, which could damage the saver. So you want to take care that you do that properly. Um, basically, there's a red light on the charger when, it, when the battery needs to be charged. And once the battery is fully charged, the light turns green on the charger. You should never leave a charging saber unattended. Because this saber contains a Panasonic 18.650 uh, 18, protected circuit battery from the custom saber shop, uh, even though it's a protected circuit, it's lithium ion, and lithium ion can be dangerous, um, but that's pretty much what's in every lightsaber. So typically, to turn the saber on, you twist the kill key here in the end. I'm going to show you. You twist it gently like this until you hear the boot sound. And you can also see the two accent LEDs underneath. Now, I'm actually going to skip forward here to the next font. So, hello there. Hello there. So this is uh, Light Meat by E57. This is a Plector standard font. And you can see the, the crystal chamber illuminated there, and it matches on Flash on Clash. So you can see it when you get a clash. It does the same thing the blade's doing. The sensitivity on the Nano Biscotti is incredible. Now it sounds a lot better once the once the pommel's on. Retraction. So basically to ignite the saber, you push the red button, and then you play with the saber. Uh, it's it's uh, nano biscotti, so it does not have uh, lock-up blaster deflections. Uh, it doesn't have auxiliary features. You've got swings, clashes, uh, extension and retraction. That's about it on nano biscotti. It's a very simple sound card, but it is very effective. And the motion engine in this thing is incredible. Very sensitive, as you can see how sensitive that is on clashes. It's just as sensitive on swings. So now to turn the saber off, you push the red button until the saber turns off. Just like that. So now I'm going to put the bottom of the hilt back on. So you lift up the, the clamp lever and gently thread the bottom of the hilt back on, just like that. And then once it's all the way on, push the clamp lever back down. So the clamp lever's back down, the hilt's back on. Now, I want to install a blade. So the blade retention on this saber is the glass eye. So you de-thread the glass eye, just like this, lefty loosey. Squeeze the rabbit ears, and the blade plug drops out. There's your blade plug. I also milled down the blade plug so it sits in at the proper depth. It sits in totally flush with the inner core. So now, we're going to take one of my 7 8 inch blades and install the blade. So the blade installs by inserting it into the saber. And then once the blade's fully seated, you turn in the glass eye. That's your blade retention. And so there you have the blade inserted in the saber. Let's kill the lights here. And let's ignite this bad boy.
cut my shoulder off. Retraction. Now we're going to get to the next font. I'm going to push the red button until I hear two beeps. The first beep, if you let it go, you're going to get mute on the go. The second beep changes fonts. In fact, I'm going to light it up and mute on the go. See, I let go of the red button after the first beep. Now it's muted. So it's, it's working, but it's on mute. It'll still do the flash on clash and everything else, but you're not getting any sound on it. It's called mute on the go. It's normal. It's designed to do this. So when you go to retraction, you should hear a retraction sound. And we do. So now I'm going to push the red button until I hear both beeps, and that will change fonts. And that roar tells us that we're in dark meat. So here's dark meat. Nina Biscotti is just incredible. That's dark meat. So now I'm going to shut this down. And while you're in the dark, I'm going to take the bottom half off of the saber. And we're going to go into what is the first font, which is Graphlex 4 by Shamin. You can see the accent LEDs on on the bottom of the saber. I'm going to advance to the next font. This is the weapon of a Jedi Knight. This is Graphlex 4 by Shamim. It's a lighter color blade and a lighter color crystal because I blended it in so it looks more like what you saw in A New Hope. This is the signature font of this saber. See how sensitive that is. Here's the chamber. Now you put it back on so you can hear. It's just triggering clashes just screwing this back on. hear what a big difference there is on sound. That's it. Retraction. So this saber is brand new. Uh, the only time it's actually been operated is when I tested the function of my install and also for this video. Other than that, it's going right back in the bag and in the box and this will be available for sale and the price should be listed in the comments. Uh, I'll also have an Empire Strikes Back version and a Force Awakens version of Ray's Saber, which is this is now Ray's Saber, that'll be up for up for bid on uh, and I'll put the adver I'll put the advertisements up on YouTube and on several Facebook groups before I put it out on eBay. But at any rate, this Saber is for sale and uh, whoever gets it is going to be a very lucky camper. Um, I'm going to be very jealous. It's going to be hard to see this one go. I'm, I'm very proud of this build. It, it came out awesome. And I hope you will like it too. So I'm going to take the, uh, I'm going to take the blade out and put the blade plug back in so you can see how that works. Here's the blade plug. You squeeze the rabbit ears and drop it in and then tighten the glass eye. And then there's the blade plug. Gotta love the Nano Biscotti, man. That sensitivity is just sick.
and retraction. Thank you for watching and congratulations on whoever purchased this saber. It's an incredible piece of work and there's a lot of my uh, sweat, blood, and tears that went into this saber. So congratulations on your purchase and I'm going to miss her. May the force be with you.